go and check out Comedy Zone. There are so many brilliant acts this year. Make some noise. Someone over this side of the room can actually make start the noise for me this time. Spread it across the room like a rash. And welcome to stage, Beck Melrose! <laughs> I got a deal to try out F45. Yeah, if you haven't heard of it, it's that high intensity interval training. I thought it would be a really good compliment to my high intensity interval eating, so I thought let's give this a crack. But when I went in, I think the guy could tell I wasn't really the gym type. I got a very tailored sales pitch. He said, you know what, Becky? And just went straight in for a nickname. When I started this place, I wanted to create a space without the big, tough, muscle dickheads, you know? Open a library. <laughs> it would be remiss of me not to acknowledge that academia and exercise are not mutually exclusive. But from a pure data analytics perspective, trying to create a dickhead-free space by opening a franchise operated by retired NRL players. <laughs> That's statistically risky. <laughs> then he led me out onto the floor, and there's all these dudes there with their muscles and tank tops, looking like the kind of bros who take pre-workout before a wank. <laughs> and they're all called Jake. Where did all the Jakes come from? It's like all the Jakes have just been in a chrysalis waiting for the right opportunity to come along and then F45's invented and whooshka! All right, legends, 35 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We're gonna start down here with some Turkish get-ups and then move back here and do some Russian twists. But none of this, yeah? Keep the core on. <laughs> then we're gonna come on down here and do some Romanian deadlifts and finish off down here with the Cuban Missile Crisis. Keep that pressure on, yeah? It's like some loose unit entrepreneur has taken an atlas and a copy of Men's Health and just rubbed them together and hoped for the best. <laughs> and they should be naming these exercises after things that are more familiar to the clientele anyway, you know? Like station one, we've got facing the judiciary for lewd acts. <laughs> station two, we've got a reverse suspension into a boys will be boys. <laughs> and those guys, um, they're just pissing into their own mouths, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I've realised in Melbourne, a lot of you are not familiar with New South Wales hero, Todd Carney, who was caught at a nightclub urinating into his own mouth. It's called bubbling. I'm very sorry, your AFL degenerates are so progressive. <laughs> We're just gonna urinate into a urinal like a good boy. Grow up. A perfectly good mouth for that. <laughs> but ultimately we're all at the gym for the same reason, aren't we? We're all there to endear ourselves to a sexual partner. <laughs> but I couldn't date any of these guys, you know? I couldn't date anyone who would consider my puss a cheat meal. <laughs> I don't want to be up late madly googling will pussy break ketosis, you know? Life's too short. <laughs> I do look around sometimes at my generation and just think, we're fucked. <laughs> but it's not all our fault, you know? The world's going mad, we're all too busy to do anything about it. I look back now on the achievements of history and just think, Einstein must have worked from home, heaps. <laughs> I've been so flat out lately, I've double parked tampons. There's just no deep belly breathing your way out of that, I can assure you. <laughs> We've got these productivity gurus trying to help us out, saying things like, we all have the same amount of hours in our day. You have the same amount of hours in your day as Beyonce. Sure. <laughs> That's how time works. <laughs> but Beyonce's not under the same pressure as us, is she? When's the last time Beyonce had to hand scrub skitties in her bathroom sink? <laughs> Definitely not since Destiny's Child. We're doing it tough. 
I do think we've been a little bit too tough on men, though. It's, um, it's been a real tough time for men. Um, yeah, hold, hold it, bro. <laughs> You're gonna regret that, son. I, I realised um, how tough it's been, though, when I was at the chiropractor, and after he charged me $120 for an assessment, all he told me was that I needed to stick my chest out more when I walk. And I just thought, oh. For all these years, men yelling at me from passing cars were just trying to hand out free postural advice. <laughs> We've got to listen, ladies, you know? They're trying to help us out. <laughs> Show us your tits is not offensive, it's preventative healthcare. <laughs> Thanks very much, you're great, I'm Beck Melrose. Give it up for Beck Melrose. If you'd like to see more, you can check her out in Comedy Zone.